What is up guys? It is Larry here, AKA Watch Me Amazon, AKA The Wholesale King. And I wanted to make this quick little video talking about exactly what is wholesale selling on Amazon, why I absolutely love it, and why I believe it is the number one way to sell on Amazon.com. And be sure to watch this video till the end, guys, because I'm going to tell you exactly why I am convinced that you should be selling wholesale on Amazon. And if you're already doing one of the other business models like private labeling or online arbitrage and retail arbitrage, why you should seriously consider adding a wholesale component to your Amazon business. So first off, why do I love the wholesale business model so much? Well, for me guys, it's honestly quite simple. In 2014, I was able to take a $60,000 investment from a friend and spin that into an eight figure Amazon business in just four years. And guys, if you went from dead broke in 2012, from six figures in debt, from living at home with your mom at 31 years old, and then went on to sell almost 18 million gross in 2017 alone, believe me, you would freaking love this business equally as much as I do. But there are definitely a ton of misconceptions out there as far as the wholesale business model is concerned. So again, I did wanna record this video and tell you guys exactly what wholesale is, what it isn't, and why I definitely think it is something that you out there should be doing. So wholesale in a nutshell. The, the wholesale business model on Amazon is basically when you buy already popular, already established, big brand name products, you know, products that most people have already heard of, and sell those products on Amazon for a profit. There are you know, a few little things that separate a wholesale business from the other types of Amazon businesses, and those are in wholesale, we strictly like to focus on products that are replenishable. And what that means is, if I have a product that I like, I can keep reordering that product and keep that product in stock for as long as I want and keep that product selling. That's why in wholesale, we buy directly from you know, brands or from large national distributors as opposed to sourcing online or sourcing in retail stores. We also like to focus on products that are ranked really, really well and have a very high turnover. So this way, you know, we never get stuck with inventory. And I know that we're only dealing with products that sell uh, really, really fast. And lastly, in wholesale, we typically work with larger quantities, even if it means, you know, slightly smaller margins. Now, that's not to say we work on very small margins because honestly, we don't. It just simply means that I rather sell a thousand pieces of something that makes me five dollars each and you know make five grand for the month instead of selling 10 pieces of something that that I might make fifty dollars a piece on but who knows how long that product is going to take to sell so that's basically wholesale brand name products that are sourced from legit distributors so that I can buy them as often as I want products that are popular and already ranked well on Amazon before we buy them. So we know that they're going to sell fast and, and then just scaling that out and doing that in volume to where you're making big bucks. That's wholesale guys. And I, I wanted to give you a few reasons why I believe that the wholesale business model is the number one way to sell on Amazon. So for me, what I probably love about the business the most is that I get to sell big 
name brand products. And you know, when you're selling that kind of stuff, uh, when you're selling stuff like you know, Nike, Apple, Samsung, uh, you know, Nintendo, PlayStation games, Gillette, you get to piggyback off of the names that these companies spent years and years and years building. And because they've built up their names and people know them, I don't have to spend my time and, you know, my money promoting or advertising those products. There's already a built-in demand for them on Amazon. People are already buying these products on Amazon. So the favorite thing about the business for me is I don't have to play guessing games. I am only buying stuff and spending money on inventory that I know is going to sell. And that is a much safer and much more conservative way of doing business when when I can look at a product, you know, see its history, see how much it sells, see what it's been selling for and make a buying decision that that is based on the actual product that I want to sell. You know, it is it's much different than private label where you're looking at other products and then trying to launch your own brand. I don't ever have to worry about launching a product. Um, I don't ever have to worry about you know buying ads or doing giveaways or trying to get reviews. I never have to worry about sourcing products from China or having products made. You know, I much rather just deal with the same suppliers that the big box stores like like Walmart and Costco and CVS buy their products from. That's who I deal with. And when you're only dealing in these very popular ranked products, that equals big sales. And big sales equals big money in your pocket. And you know, to give you an example, if you get to a million dollars in sales, even if your net profit is, you know, as little as 10%, you're still making a hundred thousand for the year net. And it's very realistic to do a million dollars in wholesale, guys. Like, very realistic. And on top of that, 10% in wholesale actually kind of sucks. Those are like super conservative numbers. I personally don't even buy products unless they're making, you know, 25 to 30% net, but those are the numbers, guys. Um, another thing that I love about this business is that when you're buying those kind of products, there's typically very little risk involved. Because I am buying stuff that I know is going to sell, I know I can always get my money back. You know, someone might come along and kill the price on a listing, and now instead of selling a product for a $10 profit, I might have to sell it for a $3 profit. Uh, maybe I even have to break even on a product, but I almost never sit on inventory. The point is, the vast majority of the time, I never ever take a loss on a product, and at the very least, I sell out, get my money back and reinvest it into a different, better product. Like I said, it's actually quite a conservative way of doing it, believe it or not. And you know, another great thing about that is my business becomes very liquid. That means that if I wanted to, I can probably sell out the vast majority of my entire inventory very quickly. And because I'm going wide and not deep, which means I'm buying, you know, a smaller amount of a lot of different products instead of like buying a huge amount of any one product, I can make like these small little micro investments into all these different products and then have to have the flexibility to, you know, pick and choose which ones to reinvest into and which ones to give up on. Um, all in all, I honestly believe that if someone is hungry and wants to put in the work, that the wholesale business model on Amazon is going to be the fastest way to scale. I think there is no faster way to get to six or seven figures than by finding just a few good, replenishable wholesale products. That's honestly all it takes. So, you know, if you guys are 
already doing something else on Amazon or if you are deciding what to do on Amazon altogether, let me give you a quick example of why you should add a wholesale component to your Amazon business. So, you know, let's just say you add just one wholesale product to your business. And, you know, as an example, nothing crazy, let's keep it simple. Let's say you find and add one product that does 10 sales a day and people who already do wholesale ask them, they can vouch, 10 sales a day for a product is you know, nothing out of this world. And let's say on this product, um, let's say you make $6 profit. And again, anyone who does wholesale will tell you a $6 profit is a very low end example. You know, $6 products are not earth shattering, but this one item, 10 sales a day, $6 each, 60 bucks a day, that nets you what? $1,800 a month net profit? You know, tell me guys that you can't use an extra two grand a month, an extra 24,000 a year off of one product. That's the power of wholesale guys. And that's one product. Find yourself four products like that and you're on the verge of making a six-figure annual income. That is why I love this business so much. And I guess the last thing I wanna show you is what happens when, when you start finding these profitable products and then you take the profits and start reinvesting them into other profitable wholesale products. You start to spin your money and it kind of becomes something like um, compounded interest on steroids. And that's the, the way I was able to take that $60,000 and spin it into an eight-figure Amazon business. But for me to show you exactly what I'm talking about, you guys are going to have to follow me into my computer. So let me go ahead and let's share my screen with you right now. Let's go guys. All right guys, so welcome into my computer. And the reason I wanted to bring you guys in here is basically to give you and show you an example of the, the power, the impact that finding good, solid, wholesale, replenishable products can have on your business on your bottom line when you start making money with these products and instead of just taking the the profit and pocketing it taking that profit and reinvesting it into other products and then taking those profits and reinvesting it into other products and it kind of just creates this this snowball effect and it was the the way and the reason and it, it, it is what gave me the ability to take as i mentioned that initial fifty thousand dollar investment worth of inventory sell it get some profits, reinvest those profits, buy more inventory, flip it again, get more profits, buy more inventory, and like I said, create this huge snowball effect, and it was the way I was able to take the initial 50 grand worth of products and turn that into a seven and eight figure Amazon business that I currently have today. So I wanna give you guys an example of how that's possible. So. Just to give you a quick little example, let's just say for the sake of this video, you find a replenishable product that you can sell $10,000 worth a month. So the product has a one month turnover, you buy 10 grand worth of the product, it takes you 30 days to sell through that $10,000. And let's say that product has a 20% return on your investment. So nothing crazy, 20% um, is pretty standard for wholesale. It's actually a little below average. That's why I wanted to use it as an example. But let's just say you have a product every month, you buy $10,000 worth, you sell it, you get back 12, and you make a $2,000 profit. So you can kind of while the product is viable, you can kind of rinse and repeat and every month you invest 10, you get back 12. You take the 10, 
you reinvest it into more inventory, you have two grand, you put it into your pocket. Month two, you spend 10, you get back 12, you pocket the two. Month three, you spend 10, you get back 12, you pocket the two. So it's nice to have that one item that you can keep selling month after month after month and making $2,000, but I wanna give you guys an idea what happens when instead of pocketing that $2,000, you take that profit and you reinvest it into another product, another replenishable product that is more or less equal or similar to the first product because that's what wholesale is all about. You start with one product, two products, five products, 10 products, and you build and scale that out until you have, you know, 100, 500, 1,000 different micro investments, different SKUs, different products selling for you month in and month out. So let's take a look at the screen. Replenishable product number one, 20% return on investment. It has a one month average turnover to sell. And let's say that we can sell approximately $10,000 worth of that product a month. So start of month one, you buy 10 grand of the product, you send it to Amazon, it takes a month to sell, you get back 12, and that's the end of month one. You have $2,000. So my demonstration is you have 10, you have two grand profit, you have 12. Instead of putting that two into your pocket, you're gonna take the 10, reinvest it into that first item because you always wanna buy that 10 and keep it spinning. But now let's say you take that $2,000 and you find another replenishable product. So on the start of month two, you have $12,000, you spend 10 of it to buy product number one, and let's say you find replenishable product number two, same exact product, um, it sells $10,000 worth a month, it has a 20% ROI, so if you wanna buy enough inventory to cover you for the month, you need 10 grand, but we don't have 10 grand, we only have that $2,000 profit. So we're gonna spend the 10 on the first item, and we're gonna take the two, and we're gonna buy, even though it's not enough, we're gonna buy $2,000 worth of replenishable product number two, and we're gonna make 20% on that two thousand dollars so product number one it makes us two grand product number two we only buy two thousand dollars worth of it but we still make twenty percent it gives us a net of twenty four hundred bucks we net um total twenty four hundred dollars we make a four hundred dollar profit and the end of month two we now have fourteen thousand four hundred dollars so we made another two on the first product and four hundred on the next but now we're sitting with 14,400. So we're gonna rinse and repeat and start trying to get this money to snowball for us. So you end off month number two with 1,400, uh, with $14,400 $14, rather. You need 10,000 of that to buy your first product. The second product, it also sells 10,000 a month, but we only have 14,400. No, we only have 4,400 rather for the second product. We're gonna buy 14,400 worth of that second product and we're gonna make the same 20% on it just like with the first. So product number one, again, at the start of month three, we buy 10 grand worth, we sell it for 12, we make two grand. Product number two, we would like to buy 10 grand, but we only have our $4,400 to work with. No big deal. We're gonna buy $4,400 worth of that product. Um, we're gonna make about $880 on that, a 20% ROI, but we're gonna turn our $4,400 investment on product number two, we're gonna turn that into 5,280, and now we're ending month number three with 17,280. So now we have a little more to play with. We have two products, both making us 20%, both making um, a turnover of about one month, and we have $17,280 to play with. Again, we need 10,000 for product number one. We would like 10,000 for product number two, but we only have 7,280. We're gonna buy 7,280 worth of product number two. We're gonna make that 20% on it. We're gonna turn that 7,280 into roughly 8,700 bucks. 
that other product, product number one, we're still gonna turn that 10,000 into 12,000. And at the start of month four, we started with 17.2. That profit brings us to $20,736. So now, going into your fifth month, doing it this way. And guys, it doesn't matter if the product has a turnover of one month or two months, you know, it, it's still the same concept regardless of how fast or slow you're turning the products over as long as there's a good quick turnover on these products. But we started month four with about 17 grand. We are ending month four with a little over 20, right? So you have these two products. They both make you 20%. They both sell about $10,000 worth a month. So if you have $20,736, you need 10 of that for product number one. You need 10 of that for product number two. And now you have an additional $736 left over. It isn't much, but let's say you find a third replenishable wholesale product that has the same type of criteria. One month turnover, 20% ROI, sells 10 grand a month. We would like to buy 10,000 worth of it, um, but we only have an additional 736 left over because we need that 20 grand for the first and second product. But let's just say we find product number three and we buy $736 worth of product number three. So start of month five, we take 10 grand, we turn it into 12 with product number one. Product number two, same thing. We buy 10 grand, we turn it into 12, 20% ROI on product number two. Then we buy replenishable product number three. We only were able to buy a little over $700 worth of that product, but because it's still a quick turnover and a 20% ROI, we're able to turn that $736 into $800. $83.20. Now, because we made two grand on the first product, we made two grand on the second, and we made you know a little over a hundred bucks on the third, we are now ending month number five with just under $25,000. So you have these three products, they take $10,000 each, we have 25 grand. So we're gonna start month number six buying these three products. We're gonna start month number six with under 25 grand. We're gonna allocate 10,000 to one product, 10,000 to the other product. And now we have a little bit of a bigger nut to play with and we're gonna buy fourth, right under 5,000 worth of that third replenishable product. So rinse and repeat. Product one makes us two grand, product two makes us two grand, product three um, makes us about a thousand bucks. We have 4883 worth and we turn that into $5,859 and we are ending month number six with just shy of $30,000. So we started with a $10,000 investment and with these high turnover replenishable items, we were able to, in a matter of six months, turn 10,000 into $29,859. That's in six months. If the products take a little longer to turn over, maybe eight months, maybe a year, but guys, even in a year, if you're able to take 10,000 and turn it into 30, that's a 200% return on your investment, which isn't bad at all. So at the end of six months, like I said, we started with one product and a $10,000 investment. At the end of the six month period, we turned that into 29,859 and almost tripled our initial investment, which is a 200% return. So let's keep going so you see once you start playing with bigger numbers, how the money starts to snowball. So month number seven, we have just under $30,000 and we have these three products that we need about $10,000 each to play with because that's based on what they sell. They sell $10,000 each roughly per month. So we're gonna take from that 29.8, we're gonna take 10,000 here, we're gonna take 10,000 there, and we're gonna take just under 10,000, the other nine, 859, and put that into replenishable product number three. And what does that do for us? We take 30,000, 
we make 2,000 with number one, we make 2K with number two, and we make just shy of 2K with number three. So that gives us a total for the month, a little less than $6,000. We started the month with 29.8. We are ending month number seven with just shy of $36,000. Now, going into month number eight, you have 36 grand and you have these three products that each require a $10,000 investment at the beginning of the month. So you're gonna invest fully into all of them. Product one gets 10, product two gets 10, product three gets 10. But now you have an extra $6,000 to play with. You could put that six grand in your pocket and then every single month you can just buy those three replenishable products make six grand total on all of them and every single month you can spend 30 take home 36 spend 30 again take home 36 and every month you can start making six thousand dollars as long as those products are viable very awesome to make six thousand dollars but instead of pocketing it let's say you take that six and you find replenishable product number four so same thing product number one spend 10 get 12. product number two spend 10 get 12. product number three spend 10 get 12. product number four we only have 5800 bucks to work with we're gonna buy it let's say it's the same type of product one month turnover 20 percent roi we're gonna turn that 5800 we're gonna turn it into right under seven thousand and we're gonna end month number eight of this example with forty three thousand dollars or just under forty three thousand dollars right here so now we have enough if all of these products if we need 10 grand a month for each of them and we have 43 grand now we have enough for all four so what are we going to do on month nine we are going to find a fifth replenishable product so we are going to take that 43 and we are going to buy 10k turn it into 12 10k turn it into 12 10k turn it into 12 once again 10k hopefully turn it into 12 and we are going to buy just under three thousand dollars of replenishable product number five right here um hopefully you know for the sake of this example same type of turnover same type of roi and we're going to turn twenty nine hundred ninety eight dollars into three thousand five ninety seven and we are going to end the month number nine with just about fifty one thousand six hundred dollars and it, it, like i said the reason why i call it spinning or a snowball effect is it starts with little amounts, but as they grow, it starts to snowball tremendously, tremendously out of control. And, you know, there is hard work involved, but as long as you can keep up the pace and find these solid replenishable products, you can very easily, like we did in nine months, turn a $10,000 investment into $50,000 investment. And if it's not exactly nine months, if it takes you a year, if it takes you 14 months, if it takes you 10 months, the numbers are still the same. And you know, a wholesale item, a replenishable item, whether it has a one month turnover or a two month turnover or a three month turnover, it still all works the same. The point is the same. The money will begin to snowball. And that's kind of the point behind wholesale is to just start adding these solid items into your catalog and building from there. So just to you know keep going um we we now started month number nine with forty three thousand um we ended it with fifty one thousand we now have five products in the mix we're going to take our four uh pro four profits from those four products and we're going to reinvest into them and we're going to keep buying those products as long as they're viable we now have a fifth product in the mix we now have some more money to put into that fifth product a little real world example by now maybe one of these five products maybe product number one that we started with in the beginning maybe it doesn't quite work anymore so we'll stop buying that one we sold out of it last month now it's time to replenish it um, we have the money to replenish it but maybe it doesn't work anymore we'll forget about that product and we'll we'll only buy products two three four and five that's kind of how wholesale works 
picking and choosing, making these little micro investments. But you know, if everything were the same and you were doing a monthly turnover and flipping, you know, that inventory every month and making a 20% ROI on it, at the end of month number nine, we would be sh just shy of $52,000. And you know, to keep going at 20% month 10 would take that 51,000 and turn it into right around 62. Month 11 would take that 62 and turn it into just about $75,000. And if the trajectory stays the same and we keep reinvesting profits into similar replenishable items at the end of one year, that can potentially be $89,161. And again, I used a one month turnover. If these products had a two month turnover, if it took a year and a half, if it took two years to take 10,000 and flip 10,000 into 90,000, who's going to argue with that? You know, that's the power of wholesale, guys. That's the power of finding these replenishable items and keep adding them to your catalog. Um, unlike private label, where you know you might have one item where you buy 10 grand worth of it a month and you get back two, and then you pocket the two, and then you buy another 10 grand worth of it a month, and you sell it for 12, and you pocket the two, and unless you keep constantly launching new private label products, you're making a nice profit off of that one replenishable item, but unless you keep adding and adding and adding and get that snowball effect going, um, you guys, again, you can understand from this example just how powerful snowballing and spinning your money can be in a wholesale business when you're dealing with replenishable type products. So that's it, guys. That's just the quick example that I wanted to show you here. Um, you know, I really, really hope that one of the things that I would really like to drive home when, you know, by closing this video here is there are a lot of people, um, especially on social media in the Amazon space, especially on YouTube, who kind of make this process look too easy. Um, I think I might be a little bit guilty of that right now with this example, but I want to explain to you as, you know, as simple as this example looks, people often overlook just how much work and how hard it is to build an Amazon business. People think, you know, you find one or two good products or, you know, you, you launch a private label product and all of a sudden you're making, you know, millions of dollars per year. It's not really realistic. You know, the, the process is simple. The process is easy. But I want to drive home the fact and beat it into your heads that there is a lot of hard work, groundwork, legwork, long nights, long days, you know, researching products that goes into it. But for those who are willing to do the work, in my opinion, I think there is no better business on earth for an entrepreneur who is looking to build a real business on Amazon than a wholesale based business model. And I hope in this video, my, you know, my sincerity comes across in this video as a, you know, I, I want you guys to feel how much I love this business because I really do love it. And, you know, aside from all the great things that we've discussed about the wholesale business and, you know, the different things that I like about it and the products and the brand names and all of that, the really the main reason why I love this business so much is honestly, guys, this business helped save my life and it helped turn my life you know, totally around. Um, I remember just before I started Amazon in 2012, I was probably at the lowest point of my life. I was at rock bottom. You know, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, in 2011, um, my girlfriend had kicked me out of the house. I was six figures in debt. Um, I was stuck in a miserable job that I hated, a career that I hated for 10 plus years. Um, I, I was super miserable. And, you know, after all of that transpired at 31 years of age, basically with with my tail tucked between, you know, tucked between my legs, I moved back home with my mom. And it was 
I don't know if it was God's will or if it was just sheer luck, but someone introduced me to the wholesale business model to selling on Amazon in general. And, you know, using, I took that opportunity and I ran with it. And using that opportunity, I was able to pull myself up by the bootstraps and work really, really hard. And I don't want to gloss over that. I mean, I remember in the beginning I started, I was working six, seven days a week. I was working nights. I was working weekends. I didn't have money for a staff. I was doing the research myself. I was shipping the boxes myself. I was packing myself. I was labeling myself. I was prepping myself. But I did whatever I had to do to take advantage of this amazing opportunity that is selling wholesale on Amazon. And it completely, completely, completely changed my life, guys. And so the, the, the final point that I wanna drive home is Amazon is this amazing opportunity, but the amazing opportunity is not what's going to make you money. It's the amazing opportunity and you mix that with hard work and desire and grind and hustle and you combine those two things together and i think it is a super 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 powerful way to make a lot of money and you know most importantly for me um what really gave me the desire and what ignited the fire for me to keep going is i finally found something that I love to do. I love selling on Amazon. Um, I love the wholesale business model. I hope my sincerity and my emotion comes, you know, through as genuine in showing that to you guys. And, you know, lastly, the reason why I started this channel, the reason why I started Watch Me Amazon on Instagram is. I'm sure, you know, this video might reach someone out there who is, you know, maybe down and out, maybe not happy with their current circumstances, maybe, you know, want to change their life for the better, maybe someone who is super hungry to live the life they've always dreamed of, the life that they feel they deserve. And if I can reach just that one person and show them this opportunity, you know, the opportunity is not what's going to make you rich. The opportunity is not what's going to change their life. But if I can present that opportunity to someone the way it was presented to me, maybe that person out there will fall in love with it. And maybe they're going to take their hard work, their desire, their struggle, their energy, and they're going to put it into this opportunity that they would have found here on this channel through me that I, God willing, hopefully would have inspired them. And then they're going to take it. They're going to run with it. They're going to build a monster wholesale business on Amazon. And hopefully, you know, hopefully one of you guys out there watching this video in six months, in a year, in two years will message me and tell me, you know, Larry, I was kind of in the position that you were in. I was doing something that I hated. I was in debt. I wasn't happy. And I started wholesale and I worked my ass off for it. And now I'm selling, you know, half a million, a million, five million dollars a year on Amazon. To me, that's what it's all about. That's why I started this channel. So I hope you guys have some or had some good value from this video. If you guys liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Um, that definitely keeps me going. And smash the hell out of the like button. And don't forget to follow me for daily wholesale Amazon knowledge on Watch Me Amazon on Instagram. And peace out, guys. Until the next one, love you all. Peace.